Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. I really haven't vlogged in like a week, a week and a half. I've been sick and I've just been honestly kind of lazy and really just like not doing anything super vlog worthy. But I wanted to talk to you guys because I really miss you and I hope that you guys are doing awesome. Happy April. I can't believe, I mean on this day when I'm filming this, it's only April. I guess it's April 3rd. I was about to say April 2nd, but I can't believe it's already April. I'm gonna take this jacket off because I'm getting really hot. I ended up filming a few clips like a week ago, updating you guys on some things in the house. So I will go ahead and insert those now. So I think I might try out the couch right here, like you guys said. We're gonna see how that looks, although I do really like the couch on this wall, so I might keep it there because, I don't know, I just kind of was already feeling the idea of the couch over here and then the TV mounted up here. So if that ends up looking better, I'll keep it there. I did move the table, just not really much, <laughs> but I adjusted it from the last time I showed it to you guys. Um, the shorter side is on this wall now as opposed to it being, I think it does look a little bit better because at this point um, now the chair or the table isn't cutting off this thing, which was just looking kind of weird and odd and also you might be able to tell I removed the purple chairs from the living room this is probably my favorite thing that I did that you guys suggested and I put them over here I honestly think this looks so good I did like them in my living room but it was like a bit crowded so I either want to keep both of them in here or just keep one of them in here and then move one of them to the living room but I kind of like having them in here for now this is where I set up my record player and I'm gonna make this room like I think I told you guys I'm gonna put a bunch of plants in here and everything but for now this is just what we have in here but let me know what you guys think about the table being here now I also did get a lot of comments saying that the table doesn't really fit my space which I kind of already thought that once I ended up setting it up out here and I realized I think it's because this house is kind of made for like being short. These archways are actually pretty short. Like for me, they're fine, but my lights hang down really low too. Like I can just kind of like reach up and touch them and I don't know, it's just kind of made for like a short person, this house. And then my table is very, very tall and it's more like very modern. It's a bar table, the bar stools are very modern and the feel of my house is a bit more like old and um, I mean, it's still modern, but it's still old. So I did get a lot of comments saying a smaller table would look better and that I should sell this table and sell the bar stools. And I might do that, but it just seems like so much of a process. And I bought this table only like a year and a half ago. Like I bought this table, maybe it's just two years ago for my last apartment. And I also just bought these parcels like a year ago. It just seems like so much of a process for me to go through to like sell this table and sell the bar stools and get a new smaller table. And I really like this table. I know it doesn't look like incredible in here, but I'm not leaning towards selling it at this current time. Maybe in like a year or maybe if I really can't get it to work in the space. I'm gonna move the couch and show you guys what it looks like and we're gonna see if we are gonna keep that. Okay, so I kind of like it. I feel like it would work here if this is out of here, which I'm not gonna move this right now because there's like so many freaking cords. I messed with this thing all day yesterday to like get these cords and bins and shit. So I'm not gonna move this right now, but if my TV cords and everything go up here instead of the mirror and it looks good, then I will probably put the TV up there, but if the couch is here, it's kind of really the only place the TV can go. And I did get a lot of you guys commenting, saying that the TV should go up here. The only thing I'm worried about is the cords. I really don't want to mess up my pretty fireplace by having ugly TV cords hanging down. I do think it looks better in general, just like this room, if I'm looking at it right now. Um, but like I said, it's just gonna depend on if this TV and the cords 
look good. It might be too big to put this TV on my fireplace. I'm not sure you guys. I'm really not sure. <laughs> I'm so bad at this stuff, like making these decisions, but um, other than that, oh, I didn't show you guys either. Um, over here, I kind of did a little corner. I'm not going to keep this here. This is just here for now. I don't know where to put the poof. I'm not sure. Um, this is where I just put like my stools in my little entryway, and I got out this lamp and my essential oil diffuser so this is going to be kind of like just the relaxation corner i don't know i'll probably end up adding some more decor maybe some more plants i just want to get a ton of plants in here because i feel like it'll just make the space so much brighter and look better and i also just want to get things on the walls but i don't want to rush anything so i still have some more unpacking to do i also got you guys' feedback that you don't really think the desk looks good out here um I don't really know what I would put here instead. So I'm gonna see if my desk and computer will end up fitting in the other room. It honestly might be too tight because there's so much stuff in there, which is why I had to put it in there as opposed to my bedroom. You guys were like, why did you put your bed in here? You should have put it in the bigger room. But no, 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 no. There's so much stuff in there. It has to fit in that bigger room. Like it couldn't even fit in this room. So that's why I put my bed in here and then all of like the clothes and storage and dressers I don't know how it's gonna end up working my vanity and everything. I might have to get rid of some stuff, which I'm cool with Squirtle, I'm so indecisive. This has already been like 15 minutes of footage I mean just talking to people not even deciding anything. I don't know. This is bad footage Will you let me know? But since then, I really haven't changed much. I haven't um, really been making that much progress other than I don't know if I showed you guys that we did mount the TV. Mostly, um, Sean mounted the TV. I don't think I showed this in the clips that I um, ended up filming a week ago. So this is new. The TV has been mounted. Oh, and also these have been mounted. My little mirror thingies are mounted above the couch. And I did listen to you guys' advice. I tried putting the couch right here and it was just too long for this area. It really, I felt like cut off the room. So for now, the couch is just staying on this wall. Um, it did not look good. Also, I tried having the TV mounted up here or not mounted, but like above the fireplace and it just ended up looking like weird and it wouldn't have worked because the cord situation the cord wasn't long enough to like reach into the plug over there and also the cords would have just been also hanging down like black cords hanging on my fireplace and i just feel like that's not attractive i mean it looks so much prettier like this so um yeah we might mount this mirror up on the wall but for now i think it looks pretty good and i'll probably add some more things to my fireplace but for now i like it i got in the mail which is this giant package over here this is a little entertainment entertainment center a tv stand that's just going to go under my tv and um, I haven't opened it yet. It's so heavy. It was almost impossible to even bring it in my front door. So that is this. And me and Sean might get started on this tonight, but um, it's probably going to take us a few hours to figure this whole thing out. But I randomly came home to three packages. <laughs> I came home to this package, um, a package from Overstock, which is some sheets for my bed, and then an Amazon Prime, which I don't actually know what that is. So... I thought I would open some packages for you guys. All right, first box is the bigger one, and I know what this is. Um, I haven't seen it in person yet, but um, I got a new handbag, and so the brand Angela Roy, which is a vegan leather luxury online handbag brand. Um, they have such an extensive website. I was so pleasantly surprised. They have a bunch of gorgeous bags. They have backpacks, mini backpacks, crossbody bags, totes, all the kinds of things. And it's all vegan leather, which is incredible. And they all look so beautiful. I've really only been using like my wallet on a chain. <laughs> and then I use, if I need more than that, I just use like a mini backpack or something. So I really actually haven't been using like a purse um, in a really long time. I got a little card, Angela Roy. Oh, this is just like the summary of my order, they're based in New York, which is good stuff comes out of New York, y'all. Ooh, look how pretty she's wrapped. She has a little maroon dust bag, 
that is so cute and I can already tell my bag has a little top handle and this is really a pretty bag and something unlike anything that I've used in a while so let me take this classic packaging off first before I show you guys guys she's pretty precious that's a little tag that says Angela Roy. Angela Roy is a New York based ethical luxury handbag brand with modern classic aesthetic. The brand exclusively uses premium quality animal friendly materials and works closely with artisans to carefully craft each bag. Every bag purchased supports mistreated animals. How can you go wrong with that? I'm so happy with this, you guys. It's like a little top handle bag, which I haven't had one of these in a while this brings me back to my like Louis Vuitton uh, speedy days wow I used to be obsessed with Louis Vuitton but guys I actually have gotten rid of so many of my handbags lately I have been selling a bunch of my handbags because honestly like I said I just don't really have that desire for super super expensive luxury handbags anymore not to say that like I don't still love nice bags but I just really don't have those same like desires and wants for that kind of stuff like I used to have so uh, if you ever want to purchase one of my bags that you've seen I sell all of them on Depop when I'm done with them I do have a really pretty YSL listed on my Depop right now I'll insert some photos of that if any of you guys are interested um, you can make me an offer I will ship international so if any of you guys are seriously interested you can message me on Depop if you are interested in getting your hands on that bag the one I chose I'll have the style name and everything linked in the description box for you guys so go and check it out um, and go check out the website as well because there's just a ton but I like mine a lot because it has all these different compartments so it has like a front compartment with a little pocket right here and then it has a main middle section that zips closed which is always really nice for your essentials oh I didn't actually even know that it had this we've got a crossbody longer strap I just found this and I actually didn't even know that the bag came with this so this is really nice to have because honestly I prefer wearing my bags crossbody than a top handle it's just easier in my opinion so that i have a little slot for my keys i have another zip close pouch i think it's just such a pretty looking bag the color is really nice for spring and summer it kind of goes with everything but it's still neutral i got this instead of like a black because i just thought that it was kind of more pretty this is definitely going to be a nice bag to add to my collection because it's kind of unlike anything i really have i don't really have anything similar to this which is why I I chose it as well so if you guys want to check out the brand I'll have it linked in the description box should we open the sheets on camera is that is that exciting that's probably not really exciting especially because they're literally just white sheets but you guys uh, being an adult means you know what you got to treat yourself to some good sheets every once in a while so that is what I had to do because the sheets on my bed right now I have a full-size bed and I have sheets that are obviously size full but they're just way too small with my like mattress topper that I have and everything. I mean, I wish you guys could see it. It's honestly a mess in my room right now. So I thought I should get some queen size sheets that would fit my full better because it's like a thick full. So I got some. These are from overstock.com and they had a really good deal on some sheets. I got the Becky Cameron Bedding Collection Premium Sheet Set. I'm not going to show you guys these because they're literally just white sheets. Two pillowcases, a fitted sheet, and a, what's that other one called? A top sheet? I don't freaking know. I had to get some new ones of these because really my sheets have like holes in them and shit right now. And then I don't exactly know what this is from Amazon, but I have a feeling it's not something that's even going to be exciting. Oh, I think my mom sent me something or maybe Megan sent me something. <laughs> I got a late Easter gift. I feel like it was from my mom, but I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> I don't know what this is from, but this is exciting because Lint is actually my favorite chocolate. Oh my God, look at Squirtle. Lint is my favorite chocolate brand. I'm assuming it's from my mom. I'm gonna text my mom and say thank you, but I'm gonna munch on these because I'm actually super hungry right now. That's pretty much it. I'm super excited about my new little purse. I didn't know it was coming today, so that's exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of the updates to the house so far. Um, this whole setup, like the chair and the computer, I'm going to try moving in the office closet room because 
um it is still so messy in there i don't know why i'm holding up these scissors it is still so messy in there i don't want to show you guys that room because it's taking me a really long time to go through everything and organize it sir you cannot eat that okay you cannot eat that chocolate i wonder why he's sniffing it maybe because it smells like my mom no probably because it smells like chocolate all right me and squirtle are gonna go and clean up a little bit of the house and hang out and my camera's falling oh my god bye